kind of a mystery car. I don't really know what it is. It has aluminum or nickel radiator fan. It's an updraft carburetor. I don't know if the oil gauge on the side of the motor is factory or not. Four cylinder, spark plugs below the exhaust ports. The spark adjust there. I think that's what's left of the odometer. Floor start, three pedals. Uh, line up in the way we considered standard today. I find this fascinating. Somebody's brazed together the driveline tube and uh, all the front pinion. So I don't know if that was a weak point in the car or just something happened to this one. It's got screw grease caps for the axle bearings, band brakes on the rear. That would be the gas gauge right there. It has port for at least a tail light. Whether or not that's factory, I'm not entirely sure. As I understand it, it's a little special and a little rare. But I don't know what it is. Oh, wait a minute, I see a tag for the first time. Remy Electric, Anderson, Indiana. Uh, model 209, 6 volts, serial number 20406. This says on top of here, Stewart Vacuum Gasoline System. And the radiator maker tag says fetters. M. Fetters Manufacturing Works, Buffalo, New York. Patent April 4th, 1911. Other patents pending. The radiator also has a tag on it that says A03828. The generator and starter motor. Um, M space G9R space 13888 and then an arrow pointing up. Nothing on the bearing caps. Again, it's got kingpin grease cups. And I had a windshield frame. You got two ports there. I'm not sure what they do and I'm not sure if they're factory. Uh, transmission is Durston Clear Company Incorporated, Syracuse, New York. Valve covers were nickel plated at one point. Carburetor is brass. So, I don't know, guys. What do you think it is? I kick it back to the wisdom of the internet.